Lord, won't you buy me a Damelia Chrysler Benz? I want it, I want it, I'll do anything. Just a quick note on the 211 E Class um, compressor failure. I'm not going to go into the flushing and the failure, but. Um, oh, the power steering pump moved again on its own. Okay, what this is about is jacking up the engine, not taking the bolts out of the engine mounts, not over jacking the engine out to get the bottom bolt of the compressor clear of this wretched sway bar. How they actually mount the sway bar is fascinating, to say the least. Uh, can you see up here? I'm not getting dirty anymore. Oh, yes, I will. See where it is? It's in the subframe above it. Very, very uh, sturdy design. I'll give it that. Um, but regarding compressor failure, um, clearing that bottom bolt, it's not a big deal, um, but it is. If the bolt slides down while you're doing this, it will bend. It will pull the thread out of the oil base housing, which is a carrier, combined carrier housing for the compressor. Um, so just be really careful. I think even this one, just make sure the bolts are up. Now, a little tip, um, I like to improvise. I always like to improvise, so just let me get my bubble gum out. Okay. You're better off, right, putting a bit of blue tack or bubble gum there. Okay. And sparing yourself the misery of what will happen when dismounting and mounting this bolt with the interference of the sway bar. If you are shitting yourself, then don't do the job because you will be so fucking sorry. Now, I've never done it, but I've seen these things happen. So, just something like bubble gum, uh, even if you put super glue on it, okay, even if, you, if that's all you got, one little drop of glue there, the the, the glue will break the seal when you turn the bolt, but I don't recommend using glue, I recommend using bubble gum. Okay, or another tar compound. I've, I've never actually used gum, but um, and no one will ever know. Look. What do you think those green synthetic seals are made out of? Bubble gum. Hold on, I wanna just save that. Times are tough. Yum. So, yeah, what can I say? You get the power steering failure, you get the tank leaking, you crack this off when you pull that circlip out. The best way for this circlip is actually to put a fine screwdriver, leave it against the aluminium housing behind it, and then once you have clearance, just pull it out with one hand so you'd get the screwdriver and just go like that and pull the clip out because you know you, you don't want that clip flying away and running away anywhere so this is not about keeping hygienic cleaning vacuuming uh, gassing o-rings it's about fucking your life okay i have not done that before but i've got the experience to see that and feel it happening so even when you're opening the compressor what you need to do the final point is to leave this one crack it open and then just give it a close so you've got the compressor sitting flush remove this bolt last okay uh, this bolt will come out only with the compressor so you can't get it out but when you move the compressor those two bolts will come out with it but this upper one then once those once you've loosened the bottom the bottom two then do the upper one i think i'm pointing to the wrong thing as well that's the power steering i oh, know that's the upper compressor housing carrier you can see the power steering goes here. That's sort of engineering there is here. It's really nice engineering. You know, it's really nice, but it doesn't work. And for that whining noise, you do get the pump failure, the compressor failure, but you also get on these sixes the alternator failure, where 
this water pump which goes from here to here and the way the belts are and the way the it's a it's a opera house of sound so you'll get that really loud whirring whining noise uh, and it projects the sound outwards and can be very annoying and very loud so good luck with that sorry for the bad video work it's Australia Day uh, I just came in for a few hours just to torture myself because I love it and um, yeah happy Australia Day and um, beware of that